Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your October monthly horoscope. My name is Jade. I'm the Violet Sage. I'm a psychic medium, automatic writer, and tarot reader, along with spiritual minister, Reiki master, teacher, author, creator for over 26 years. Uh, welcome to your monthly horoscope reading. This channel is where we provide you with many types of readings, manifestations, tons of information, and other podcasts. So I hope you enjoy this and join us in the future. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other ones. We also have the four element readings coming up for you too. And um, we also have the Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time, live weekly readings. You can join us live or you can check it out afterwards. But either way you look at it, it is a weekly reading that really seems to strike home with everyone. So it's a really good one to check out. <clears throat> All right. So Capricorn, your birthday normally lands between December 22nd and January 20th. Oh, great. That's when I get those weird, weird phone calls in between the middle of everything. So anyway, <laughs> birthday is December 22nd through January 20th. And if a fucius is involved, it is January 19th through February 15th. So you might want to check out Aquarius as well. All right, so on to your reading. And remember, these are general readings, and they're based on your sun sign, the one you're born under. But there are many other parts of your astrology chart you should highly consider as well, such as your rising and moon signs. And also if you're born on a cusp, which is when your birth date lands on or close to the end or beginning of another sign. So for a more accurate reading, especially for you, please feel free to contact me to set up an appointment. And you can do that at thevioletsage at aol.com and put reading in the subject line, which is really important because I get so much junk mail. Okay, so we, as you can see, Capricorn, we pulled the first card for you. This is the brilliant virgin. It's a really pretty picture. So this is you. This is you being, sometimes you may feel that you maybe you're a little naive, like say if it's a new job, but it's like do with what you already know how to do. There's always a starting place. But, you know, you are intelligent. Just because you don't know everything doesn't mean you don't know anything. So don't let people torture you or put you down and things like this because you really have a lot to share with what you do know, what you do do. It's very helpful and meaningful and it's valuable. So don't let, don't let no man put us under kind of thing. So the brilliant virgin is you have a lot to share too. Please don't short, shorten yourself and shorten your abilities and make yourself less than what you are. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you what the book says about the brilliant virgin. In a world where we are bombarded daily with differing opinions and ideas, remaining true to you in your own point of view is nothing short of brilliant. Let go of confusion, distortion, comparison, and compromise. You do not need to compare yourself to another or to measure up to anyone or anything else. What matters to you and your successful life journey is to be in touch with your own truths. You know what you feel, no matter what anyone else says or believes, stay true to you. So that's some very, very good advice. All right. So on to the next card. Is Angel of Vision. Someone is not revealing a part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. So you're not getting the whole picture. It could be a boss. It could be a loved one, a significant other. Someone who's just trying to use you for what you know in your wisdom. They're trying to shortchange. Oh, well, you know, it's not going to mean anything unless you do this, 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 and this. So in the meantime, you're giving them your idea. It's kind of like someone who steals your invention, you know? So... Anyway, pay attention to what you sense. Your senses are, well, some of you feels like your senses are on overload. That's what they're telling me. But at the same time, try to clear your energy, clear your space, do some meditating so you are an open vessel for the truth that wants to come to you. Just like you need to stick to your own truths. 
you got to see what someone else is telling you. Because sometimes people try to get you involved in something that's really not for your best and highest good. It just earns them brownie points. So, you know, it doesn't have to be something totally malice, but be careful because if you're not feeling like you want to, and you're feeling like you're too naive to make a proper decision, then tell them, I want to do the research first. I don't care if you don't understand or believe me or whatever. <laughs> okay. So stuff's going on. Whoa. All right. Then we have the skills. You yourself are very talented. You already know what you can and cannot do. I was saying this before. Um, just like the brilliant virgin, you're good with what you already do, with what you already know, and it is valuable. So put that forward first and let that lead you. So if you're looking for a new job, a new career, things like that, it feels like it may already have something with what you do. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Say you are in healthcare. And maybe a therapist, the therapy position opens up or maybe a lab tech or something like that. So it may have be similar to what you already do, if not the same. So it doesn't mean you're dead in the water. If you're giving that up after years and years of schooling or something like that, you have the skills to do what comes next. And there's nothing wrong with adding to your whatever it is that you do, your I want, I can't say portfolio. That's kind of like what I want to say. All right. So you have a lot of valuable insight. Don't sell yourself short. Keep pushing forward to you achieve your dream. And a lot of times it takes multiple facets, multiple jobs, multiple experiences, but you do it in your own time frame. So there's a lot of, um, again, every, every Zodiac is going through some sort of transformation right now. So, and not only we're transferring from, transforming from summer to fall also. So, you know, it's kind of, we're following suit. All right. So <clears throat> we are going to be picking a card for you that reflects the stone for the month, the stone that's going to be best and helpful for you. And while we are doing that, I would please ask, this is the point of the show where you can please like share and subscribe takes but a second to do cost you nothing and it really helps us get seen in the algorithms thing is you have to do it at the right time of the show you can't do it too early or they just think it's somebody i put up to it like oh it's just a friend of mine they didn't even listen to the podcast you know so we don't want them to think that either we want you to really do it because you're enjoying what you're hearing Enjoying the way I maybe deliver your messages. Whatever it is that you may like about the show, we'd appreciate. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull a stone for you and see what's best going to help you this month. Meantime, just take a few seconds while I'm shuffling the cards. we're back thank you so much for taking a minute out to watch that and we pulled a really cool stone for you so this is apophyllite another zodiac here got the apophyllite too and remember which one it was but i love the stone i truly adore the apophyllite it is most times transparent and it has a reflective surface inside. It's like looking into a mirror. So it really helps you to see the reflections of what you need to tweak and change in your life. And um, for broader visions, some people use it for meditation. But this one says increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened up the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. That's awesome. So you got abundant opportunities and help coming to you. Um, Apophyllite is a beautiful stone. It really shimmers and shines. I think it, the base of it may come in other colors. I'm not positive on that. So let's see what Google has to say about it. What are the metaphysical properties of Apophyllite? 
my phone stopped talking to me today. It's a stone that is linked to the astral travel, connecting with angels, clairvoyance, psychic visions, cosmic requests, cosmic quests, and expanding your consciousness as far as it is. Let's see. Of course, I have to click on it. So now I have to find out where I was. In homage to its image of frozen water, Apophyllite also holds a high water content, which brings about its incredible ability to conduct electricity. Ever charged with energy, you would think that Apophyllite was all about the buzz, but in fact, this crystal stays soft and serene and geared towards glorious, gentle healing. To find out more about Apophyllite, keep on reading. Okay, let's see. Oh, one of those. <clears throat> I'm just trying to read where <laughs> it's good for the masculine and feminine energies. Okay. Well, you might just have to do a search yourself. Um, it's good for channeling thoughts and feelings that surpass our simple borders. It's also known for its ability to tap into hidden psychic powers from clairvoyance and visions to linking spirit and truth. The stone has Big things in store for those who are open to deepen spiritual practices. Awesome. I really need to wear mine more. So I hope this has been of help for you today. And please enjoy your October. And don't forget, you have the skills. You're not left in the rough anywhere. Actually, a diamond in the rough isn't a bad thing. And don't forget to get yourself some Apophyllite and that you have plenty of skills. Look up. Good stuff is coming. Namaste, everyone. Much love.